Hello, welcome to a special edition of Crop Life Retail Week. I'm Eric Stolgoy, editor of Crop Life and Crop Life Iron. Here solo this week, my uh, partner in crime, Laura Sawinski, is on vacation, but I am here to actually have, like I say, this is a special edition of Crop Life Retail Week. As I record this, I have just returned from the Midwest Ag Industries Exposition, otherwise known as the Maggie Show in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, this was the 43rd edition of the Maggie Show, and if uh, you were able to make it there, you had a great time. Uh, a lot of Maggie shows, uh, because it's the end of August, uh, in in Illinois, uh, tends to be about 80 or 90 degrees with a heat index over 100. This year, the temperature, I'm happy to report, never broke 80. I think the high was 79 on the first day of the show, and it stayed pretty cool the whole time. Nice low humidity. It was a great time. There were 2,200 uh, registers uh, at the event, and then 600 people walked up. So the total attendance was just about 2,900 people walking the fairgrounds at uh, Bloomington for two days in August. Um, in terms of what people were seeing on the fairgrounds, uh, as always, sprayers were very, very popular. Again, the uh, back half of the far fairgrounds is the ride-and-drive area, and there were several uh, uh, sprayers making you know, the trips through the field with drivers and Folks were kicking the tires and checking out all the uh, features on all these sprayers for themselves. Uh, just a note, one one sprayer that did kind of stand out for me was the uh, at the John Deere booth, the uh, Hagee STS-12 they had on display. Now it's going to be equipped with the Sea & Spray uh, system from John Deere. So starting in 2025, users of the Hagee sprayer will be able to utilize Sea & Spray in their operations. I thought that was pretty cool. So besides sprayers, one other equipment area that got some attention because there was a lot on display at this year's Maggie show was tenders and spreaders. Uh, there were several tenders on the fairgrounds. One in particular to highlight was the ET tender from our friends at Doyle. This is an electric tender. They're introducing it new to the marketplace. And um, there was quite a bit of uh, traffic, uh, foot traffic around their booth with the uh, ET tender on display. In terms of spreaders, there were several options on the on the fairgrounds. The Amazon people had their spreaders on display. And then we also had our friends from the Salford Group who debuted their SS400 plus spitter spreader. So that was there as well. Uh, and like I say, if you're interested in more details on what these products had in the way of features, then stay tuned for uh, future videos and also look for the September-October edition of Crop Life Iron Magazine. We'll have a wrap-up of the show and have all the products that were featured there along with all the specs that they had to offer. One other thing, of course, every Maggie show, there is, of course, at the end of the first day, uh, awards that are handed out. The people at IFCA hand out two awards. One is the Image Award, which goes to the best booth display at the show. This year's winner was Linco Precision for their booth display, which was spread out over a, a walkway, but it was very nice. They had a lot of equipment on display, and uh, it was a very nice-looking booth. So kudos to them for winning the Image Award. And then there was the Custom Applicator of the Year Award that goes to an applicator in the state of Illinois that has gone above and beyond in doing their job for the year. The winner this year was Mike Mission from M&M Service Company. And uh, congratulations to Mike on winning the $500 cash award plus a little, uh, little token from the folks at IFCA. And then, of course, our, our magazine, Crop Life Iron, for years has handed out what I guess you would call the best in show award. We call it the showstopper. We actually looks like a stop sign, and I'm happy to report that this year's Showstopper Award winner was a new leader. They introduced a new spreader box, the NL720, and here is a video that I took after handing out the trophy with Zach Rissy uh, talking about the features of the NL720 spreader. Hello, this is Eric Sfilagoy with Crop Life Iron Magazine at the 2024 Maggie Show, and I am here with Zach Rissy at the New Leader booth. 
And I am happy to report that New Leader was the 2024 Showstopper Award recipient for this year. Zach, congratulations to New Leader on winning. Yeah, thank you very much. So how does that feel? Oh, it feels great. Um, you know, we're super excited about this product, uh, the new NL720. And, um, you know, to win this is a, is a great honor. And, you know, we couldn't be, you know, more excited and, and proud. Very good. So yeah. if you could share with our viewers a little a bit about some of the key unique features that makes the NL720 a, a special product release into the marketplace. Absolutely, yeah. So. You know, with the NL720, uh, big key feature is going to be efficiency. So we are doing 120 foot spread patterns with this. Uh, we've also got enhanced precision that comes with that uh, based on our new spinner design. And, um, you know, the maintenance, given the industry that we're in, we know how, how crucial and important that is. So there's not any grease points or anything on this machine. So it's very, very easy to maintain to keep your uptime you know, at a very high level when they're in the field, so. Okay, very good. Yeah. And I know that, of course, walking around the showgrounds here at Maggie 2024, there were a lot of companies that had this unit on their equipment. So, I mean, you have a lot of agreements out there, correct? Uh, absolutely, yeah, we work with we work with all the major OEMs. Um, if you guys want to find out, you know, any more information on any of that, you know, feel free to visit our website um, at, you know, newleader.com, so, yeah. Very good. All right. Well, Zach, thanks for joining us. And again, congratulations to New Leader on winning the 2024 Showstopper Award here at the Maggie Show. On behalf of everyone at Crop Life, congratulations, and we will talk to you again soon. So that's what Zach at New Leader had to say regarding the uh, NL720. And I know that spreader box was on several units all across the fairgrounds at Maggie, so I'm sure it'll be making a pretty strong market debut here in the next coming months, uh, upcoming months as we go through the uh, growing season. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the wrap-up from Bloomington, Illinois. And since I have your attention, uh, there's another event going on in about two weeks. Uh, our friends at the Mid-America Crop Life Association are holding their annual meeting, coincidentally, in Bloomington, Minnesota, which is near Minneapolis. And that meeting, uh, the theme of it's going to be, what's our future? Going to look at some of the uh, trends and market drivers going on in ag and where those things might lead us as we go forward through the next few years. That meeting will take place September 3rd through the 5th, as I said, in Bloomington, Minnesota. Some of the speakers there include Herod Wall, the president of the National Corn Growers Association, going to be talking about new opportunities in agriculture. Uh, Alex Dunn, the new president and CEO at Crop Life America, is going to be reviewing critical issues to the marketplace. And then Stanley Culpepper from the University of Georgia is going to talk about the Endangered Species Act and its potential impact on ag going forward. So if you're interested, check out the uh, bit of their Crop Life Association website, MACA, M A C A dot org. And uh, you could register for the event. You still have time. Like I say, it's uh, September 3rd through the 5th. So if you're there, I'll look forward to seeing you. Well, I know we don't have Laura here, but I thought you viewers might would like to play along with our favorite game. So it is time for Fun with the Bears. So this week I have a number from the Maggie Show. That number is 17. So, is, viewers, is 17, is that A, the number of showstopper awards that have been given out over the years? Is it B, the number of image awards that have been given out over the years? Is it C, the number of custom applicator of the year award that have been given out over the years? Or is it D, the number of pork on a sticks that I consumed while at this year's Maggie? And uh, hopefully on the screen is a picture of the pork on the stick, one of the ones I had. And I'll tell you right now, it wasn't 17. I actually had about four, <laughs> but they are very good. I could have easily eaten 17, and I'm sure uh, a lot of people there may have come close to that number. But if you were wondering, the correct answer, what 17 represents, is the number of showstopper awards. The first one was awarded back in 2007. And every year, except the skip year in 2020, when COVID was going on and there was no Maggie, we have awarded a showstopper award. And new leader this year won the 17th showstopper. So again, congratulations to them. And if you guess that, you win the prize. 
no prize, but at least you have the satisfaction of knowing that you know your showstopper, Maggie Trivia. Well, that's it for this edition of Crop Life Reto Inc. I'm Eric Sfoligoy. On behalf of myself and everyone at the Crop Life Media Group, we hope you enjoyed this edition, and we'll see you again next week. If you have questions or comments about today's episode of Retail Week, contact us by email or Twitter or type your message in the comment section below. Your feedback is important to us. We will try our best to address your thoughts in next week's episode and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.